Good morning. Hello. So it's first day. It's been a few days since the Perth 4 drop show. We are now back at the shed. We took a few days of filming. <laughs> Lost our vlogs this weekend. It's been pretty crazy oh, weekend. Man. Crazy weekend. So Perth 4 drive show went absolutely off. Now we were there for three days. We had the Mog parked up around other creators, kind of in our field. And um, yeah, just had everyone coming through the truck and having a look around, got that to meet mental. some of you guys, which was, it was such a humbling experience. And at the same time was so bizarre for Ange and I, like we've followed these YouTubers for years and then suddenly we're like Super amongst bear. them and got to see some of you guys that have been following the build and knew everything about it and stuff. It was Yeah, and no, it was really amazing in that respect, like replying to your question in person and showing you around. Like we hope we had like the chance to speak with all of you who came to see us. Thank you so, so much. It, it, it's just still crazy. It still can't really realize like the, you know, how many people came. We did a little bit of filming, not too much. Like it was a bit hard to obviously deal with both. Mm. So uh, we'll roll the clips that we've got just to give you a little sneak peek if you were not able to come and then we'll take you along for the rest of the build. Alrighty. Bowser has never looked this clean, shiny. Took us only probably a month to uh, clean the mud from our little trip from a few weeks ago, but we did it finally. And this is what the inside looks like. You can see we've made a little bit of progress the past days. We were supposed just to get ready for the show, but we made some progress in the couch area with the cabinetry, with the electronics. Looks good. Looks great. So we're gonna convoy in the little Suzuki Zippy and the mug and we are going to the Perth 4 drive show today to do the bunking so Bowser the mug will stay put over there and tomorrow show is gone <laughs> so I will be driving this little car we will have for UHF GME radio connecting on channel 8 for the little convoy who's gonna start the mug It's day one at the Perth 4 Drive Show. It's Friday. Yesterday we arrived for the bumping. We dropped the mug. We basically had to drive through the entire show. You can see all the vehicles in the caravan to find a path for Bowser. <laughs> How did you feel driving like the entire way? It was way? pretty fun because we were like kind of a lovely <laughs> ride and everyone's setting up all the cruises and stuff. It was neat. You get to see like everything before the show actually starts. We actually got through like the wrong entrance it's it's actually much much bigger than i thought it would be i knew it was going to be massive but this is like crazy it's probably thousands of vehicles here it, it, it yeah, is just mind-blowing yeah so we're hoping we can get a chance to actually have a look this morning before people start coming around yeah, it's quite um, early we woke up at 5 a.m this morning and we're gonna have breakfast first of all we already had coffee setting up some uh well, some little poster little poster it's got the qr codes for youtube patreon instagram it's like the transformation there <laughs> haven't done photoshop in a little while but it came out okay you did very well and this is the creator her barrier we've got our friend steffi and lee for grizzly and bear overland just here so we are in very good company and we are just set up got all stickers got a little book made the old school little book with like photos of the transformation of bowser because I'm sure that a lot of people will see that and think that we bought it like that or we, you know, it was not the army truck. So I think it's pretty cool to see the transformation. So now we're going to go for a little walk before the event opens up so that we can get to see as well what there is around. Because I believe after it's going to be impossible to walk anywhere. So we are going for a little walk. So we've been walking through the entire show and there's lots of like flashy cars and vehicles and caravan but this is what caught our attention <laughs> straight away we thought it was a mug from far away oh we recognize that that is so cool that's wicked so this is the australian army defense like stand and this is what they run place the uni mugs with is it like 
So this is what the man, I've never seen one in the flesh. So it's pretty amazing. All right. And they've great, Chris. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, a little bit. It does have air con. You don't have don't make me oh jealous, God. mate. Oh. Wow. Oh, that is massive. Holy. Wow. It's mad. What a beauty. This is nuts. The windscreen is just crazy. Dude, it's huge inside. It is. But <laughs> oh, I've got a door hatch. Like so yeah, we sure we do. We retain that feature. Right. Oh, you have to. And that's oh. the gun mount. Wicked, Ben. Oh, this is so cool. Uh, comms this is comms. Okay, yep. That's where the weapon mounts go. Mm -hmm. In behind there is cargo. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. That's the air con unit. The air con here, beautiful. It's, it's either hot or it's cold. Right, there's nothing <laughs> it's right. there's no in between. Okay. Yeah. Um, oh. yeah. Yeah, that's huge. What a rig. 2.6 wide and what? 2.6 wide. Yeah, I said about, wider than the mug. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Well, I think the mug's 2.2, 2.3. The cab, the the cab is tiny. small, yeah. hey. Yeah. For the size of it, like, you're like, man, you guys could have <laughs> yeah. made a larger cab for this vehicle. But they go everywhere. They do go yeah. everywhere. We're starting to realise that, which is cool. We haven't even put it through its paces yet. Yeah. But, yeah. <coughs> oh, this is so cool, man. Yeah. So this is the successor. So one day this will end up on the auctions, and then uh, <laughs> people you know, will be old people by then. Yeah. 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 Oh, oh, shit. Wow. Yeah. It's so cool. So you guys are here all day, just it's a big step around. as well. I'll jump out away. Good morning. Good morning. Day two at the third floor draft show. We're already on our second coffee. Yep, we've almost lost our voice from yesterday, but man, it was a phenomenal experience. God, what man, a full on day. We definitely didn't stories. expect so much. Oh, yeah, we'll have like Crap. definitely some we funny stuff. We honestly must have had a thousand people come through the camper <laughs> and, and check it out. It's so cool. But man, we're just on our feet all day, no lunch. It was crazy full on, and apparently today's quite a lot busier. So. It's um, gonna be, it's gonna yeah, be yeah, many it, coffees, it's just unreal. So yeah, we definitely need that little coffee. We don't even know if we'll go for a little walk this morning. We might check out like a few caravan. Apparently there are a few that have got bed on actuators. That's mm, definitely that a mission that we've yeah. got. Might see the army stall again because that was so cool. They came to visit. That was really, really cool. So I think yesterday the most asked question, I think I wanted to kind of like share as well on YouTube because a lot of people ask us. I think the most asked one was, when do you think you'll be finished like, oh, for yeah. your mug? And, and my answer is three more months of solid work. I want to be leaving in January. Yeah. And I don't think it'll be completely finished. There will always be something, but I think we can hit the road January. Yeah, I'm, ho like, yeah we, I'm really hoping by Christmas. If we fit, like, continue the momentum like we did, like as you saw, like the past month, I think we can definitely make it. Then the next one we had a lot of questions. Are we going to keep <laughs> the box? white obviously right now as well it's super shiny so it's kind of like really standing out <laughs> so yeah short answer definitely not long answer Ange and i are spitballing a few different ideas at the moment wrap is looking like the best option for us because it means we can change it down the road so maybe in two or three years time we can completely change the look of the truck whereas if we paint the whole thing it's very much kind of a permanent fix so yeah, so we're thinking wrap, and yeah. that'll hopefully come not too in the not too distant future. Hopefully, that would be amazing. That would transform like the yeah, mug yeah. so much, like that's for sure. Because it, right now it does it, stand out. Yeah, a bit. At, the, at the moment, it, it's not pretty, so um, we'll get there. And also, if you did come and say hi yesterday, or oh, and if you do today, so lovely to meet you, and um, I hope we got enough chance to like properly have a chat with yeah. you yeah it's we really apologize. hard to kind of like yeah, have time it, for everybody and and not like seem like we're rude or anything yeah it's, it's hard really, learning really hard. how to finish a conversation with one person to move on to another person we're not used to it so sometimes i think people were waiting quite a long time and, and some people may have not got to have a chat and um which is a shame but it was just incredible to meet so many people who are watching us thank you so much everybody <laughs> so um yeah cheers if you did um if you were there and I met and we met you so um, yeah pretty pretty humbling experience we'll say That's that much. Sure. so this is the view from the gun hatch just in front of us <laughs> hello <laughs> I've got the best view around that's for sure <laughs> <Don't shoot. laughs> 
Yeah, we do need like something here. Like we went we to the. Nerf gun. <laughs> I think a Nerf gun would be good. Yeah, is that on the cards as Nerf well? Gun, yeah, Next yeah. upgrade. Yeah, or just uh, stink bombs. <laughs> Hello, you're coming to visit the Unimog at the show? Yeah. Yes, you like it? Yeah. <laughs> it's a big truck, eh? Yeah. Well, thank you for coming. Okay. What was your favorite part, eh? Um. You drive to the right. Yeah. So, you When you drive to the right. Oh, that's good. amazing. Thank you so much for watching. Oh. Aww. <laughs> there we go. I'll do you a little hug as well. <laughs> yeah, good, okay, yeah, go for it. Yeah, all good. Shit, that was close! I'm so sorry! <laughs> My god! So as you can tell, we are terrible at filming around other people. We're just not used to it at all. We hang out all day with a chicken and a cat. So um, it was just bizarre to have so many thousands of people to talk to. And it was, yeah, it was crazy. So um, hopefully we do more little expos like that, I guess. But that was our first taster. Yeah, we've, uh, we've basically been resting our voices ever since. Now, a little bit dejected because we came back to the MOG and I was, you know, we were all pumped from meeting everyone and ready to go. But I'll bring you in here. So, yeah, exactly. So we're all ready to go and then suddenly we're like, okay, so it's time to make the bed, finish off this couch area. And I went, holy. So what I have not anticipated is, so we're meant to have an actuator here actuator here and actuator in the other two corners but i completely misunderstood that it's not gonna work with our angle which is such a shame so so think of an actuator a little bit like an electric bottle jack you've already got to have quite a long object in order to contain the cylinder within which then basically pushes double its length but we don't have enough so if we're to start the actuator on this platform here, the actuator itself is going to have to be about this high and that can only push that height up, which long story short means we can't have the bed going high enough and we can't have the bed going low enough. So we need a minimum of a hundred centimeters of clearance in our beds. That's including mattress as well. Otherwise I won't be able to sit up in bed. And I think that's going to be really agitating and just not nice full time. So yeah, that was really dejecting. So we've been racking our brain the last few days on how we can overcome it. I think I've got an idea. I'm going to set up a, a nice looking, I hope, pulley system as well as potentially using an actuator as a push rod. So um, I'll be able to show you guys more of that once I wrap my head around it. Now what you wouldn't have seen, a little new addition, and our last appliance technically, is diesel heater. We have been sitting on that for quite some time, it's just been sitting in a box, we haven't been ready to install it. We received that from a company called Max Peeding Rods, it's 5 kilowatt, and very affordable. We actually got given it by the company and it's something we really wanted so that's why we said yes i've started kind of plumbing that in now it's been a little bit trickier than i thought you would have seen we had the semi-rigid pipe joining the two tanks that had a ball valve in the middle but this needs to have an exhaust and an air intake plumbed through the floor so i need to actually bend our pipe i might have to heat it up to bend it and go around in a, a little bit of like a semicircle so that it doesn't go anywhere near the hot exhaust pipe and then I'll have to wrap the exhaust with some insulation and that should fix it. We uh, pre-did the wiring already with some uh, high amp cable 
some nice thick gauge cable. So that part should be fine and then we will need to work out some sort of fuel uptake system for it. So that will come a little bit later but um, as you can see within here we've got a ton of storage which was really important to us. We still have yet to build this platform but we're, always, we're going to make it so we can lift this up and there will be a nice amount of storage as well as having the diesel heater quite easily accessible. Yeah, so uh, it's, all, it's all on, still so much to do but um, oh, we're getting there. All right, so just to continue on the most asked question, obviously the cab draw a lot of attention at the show, as you can see, and you know a lot of work has been put into that to make it not only comfortable, less hot, less noisy. So I guess the main thing uh, that we did this year, obviously, was the sun deadening and heat insulation with the Car Builders product, which is definitely one of the best mods that we've done in the cab. Obviously changing to air ride seat as well made a huge, huge difference to the ride. And now we are trying to think about, you know, how to make it even cooler for summer. So at this stage, we don't have air conditioning, but at this stage, we found a temporary solution, which is this little guy here, which is the Evapolar Everlight Plus. So it's kind of like really nice compact unit that fits between our two seats. You can just run it out of like USB. So we've got our USB port just on the dash over there. We might add actually two more just there. So yeah, we're really excited to, you know, give this one a go on the road. Yeah, so for you guys in America, you'll call it a swamp cooler. It's an evaporative cooler. So you pour water into this little reservoir, which is removable. And then it basically fires a fan up and pushes water over like an absorbent mat and uh, basically you get cool there. We tested it at home and it worked crazy well actually. I was really shocked. We haven't had it in the cab um, yet, but I reckon it will might maybe take it down one or two degrees. We don't want to spend a ton of money on, on aircon in here. Firstly, because we'll have to do some serious mods in the cab. Second of all, obviously because of cost. If this, uh, I think this will do really well. If it doesn't, I may consider getting our Truma Sophia plummet all the way through the uh, cabin and the box and bring it in here but that's very much an invasive procedure so uh yeah i'm hoping this will go well just attached to the carpet which is some velcro so it doesn't like move much so quite confident that this unit will work well for a cab because it's quite like a small space and that's why i was seeing on the reviews if you've got a closed little unclosed space it's great if you've got big room to really cool down it's definitely not strong and powerful enough so that's just one thing to keep in mind this at the back for example in a camper I don't think would have been good but yeah very excited to try down the road and yeah get like a little bit of a cooler ride all right let me show you what I'm doing up here okay. man it is cooking okay so one more room now, we have bought from a chandlery boat chandlery these eyelets 316 stainless now drilled four holes in their spot using uh, first of all center punch and a hammer then a couple of drill bits now I'm going to put these M6 riv nuts in using the riv nutter and we have these bolts 316 countersunk bolts these are alley so what I'm doing is I'm pumping a bunch of uh, Sika 111 into the hole, make sure that there are no gaps. That'll not only make sure that it is waterproof, but it'll also glue the riv nut in and make it extra strong. Alley riv nuts are no issues there. And then we have the stainless bolts. If I get some galvanic corrosion going on, don't think there will. I'll show you why afterwards. But if I do, I can always just remove those bolts. Stick in the seal. Boom, boom, pow. Angie's got the ladder, by the way, making sure I'm super secure. Rev nut one in place. Two down, two to go. 
And then I've got a little surprise for you guys after that. It'll be a surprise for Ange as well. So rivet nuts are great if you're not aware, rivet nut basically acts like a rivet so it squeezes out when you use this thing and then it's got thread so I'm using M6 thread and then you can uh, yeah just treat it like a, a bolt hole I guess a threaded threaded bolt hole hopefully I've done a good job of lining them all up soon find out how you doing down there Ange looks bored. Okay, don't use the hammer drill. Just immediately start shredding. So, show you the finished result. Bam. So, all done. Now, what I was saying before, there'll be no galvanic corrosion because these rev nuts, the beauty of them is they actually lift the stainless steel plate. Just a little bit. And that's good because then you don't have a really big surface of aluminium with that stainless steel plate, just the rivet nuts, which are alley. So those are all done and we'll show you what we're doing with them. All right, do you guys want to know what the surprise is? I know Ange does. I'm slightly scared. Is that a kid? First time driving the Mog. What? Yep. <laughs> what? Yep, it's about time. Let's go. Oh my god. This will be the easiest possible place to drive at. All you gotta do is put it in reverse. I'll help you. We'll do a startup sequence. So this is not lying to you guys, this is the first time Ange has actually even sit in this driver's seat. Well I sat in it before, but Oh you sat in? Okay. I lie then. Cool. Alright, watch your watch your arms and legs. First up, we've got as you know we've got hand throttle that needs to be set down so down into a groove you'll feel a groove so i do that now straight down yep make sure it's in that groove so like up and down make sure yeah. it's all right now you're going to put the key in the ignition you are going to turn that to the bell so ignition on you'll hear it that's it and then you're going to Start it and put a little bit of accelerator on, okay? So, turn the key. Well, a bit of accelerator, not heaps, but enough. accelerator, accelerator, accelerator. No, no, accelerate. Yep, that's it. How much? There we go. Take it off a bit. So, do I still need a little bit of accelerator? A right? little bit, and then take it off. Bit on. Ah, okay, so you weren't quite in that groove. Okay. Cool. Now you're good, so accelerator off. Awesome. So what we're looking at here is about 7,000 RPM. I don't know if you guys can see that. <laughs> oh, and that's the air ride seats going up. We have some sort of a air leak somewhere in the system. So we're down at zero on one of the gauges and at about seven and a half bar on the other ones. That's the two tanks. So we need to wait for those to climb up. Chris has 100% put me on the spot. I was not prepared to drive today. I guess it's pretty good condition but yeah man. this will be good all right so now switch the first auxiliary switch on on the little pod yep that's the one cool and that'll give us reverse camera bam all right so we've got reverse camera going on now brake light is still on so that means that we haven't achieved seven and a half bar on both gauges yet that should turn off pretty soon and then you will be free to drive basically we're getting uh voltage from our jenny and that's about all there is to it right now so Ange, over here you've got your what gear you're in it's not going to tell you whether you're in fourth or third just somewhere in that um, sequence so basically it's a four speed gearbox but then once you change to fifth or an air-powered actuator shifts your range and then you've got five six seven and eight so the range from four to five is really slow so you're gonna take your time on that so we've got neutral I think yeah it should do okay now clutch in good all the way in oh my that's god what, yeah the quad <laughs> pump okay so that is what re is required for clutch yeah it does it okay. is hard so at the lights, if you start to really struggle, put your hand on your leg like that. Okay. Yeah. 
Do you need to go forward a bit? Yeah, good. And now clutch in. Okay. Cool. So now we want to go into V, which is forward. So down. That's it. So now gearbox is in forward. Okay. If you were to pull, you would have been in reverse. And then you're going to disengage the handbrake. So you're going to pull up on the handbrake and forward and down. This That's one. that guy. So up, up and down. Okay, handbrake's off. Okay. Your brake light's turned off, so you've got enough air. Now, as you hop off, so first of all, actually go into third gear, straight up. Okay, so that's third. Practice, that would be fourth. Yeah, and then shift that way. Everything's slow, so no pushing. What you'll feel is if you just add a bit of pressure, it'll fall into the gate. If you jam it into the gate, it's not going to like you very much. This out, 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 clutch out, clutch out, clutch out, clutch out. Yeah, good, good, okay. good, good, good. Cool, so now you're driving, you can take your foot off everything. Off the clutch. Definitely take it off the clutch. Okay. Yeah, yeah, take it off the clutch, yeah, yeah, cool. Okay, and then steer, steer, yeah, good, that's it. Oof, and she forgot how to steer. Don't turn. Oh. No, 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 stop there. So clutch and clip. Okay, so and stalled it, that's all right. Oh, there, there. So turn the key off. Okay, so have a little think. <laughs> You're in a manual you said now. I could install. You can't stall off of the line so easily. So can I just But you can still stall it, yeah. So so what you did then, and this is really important, is when you were driving you still had the clutch on a bit. So you can't do that. You want to be clutch out completely, okay? Okay. Otherwise you're gonna start burning the clutch. <laughs> so back in neutral. That's it, and then let it go, clutch out. So you're in neutral, so you don't have to have clutch on no matter what you do. Cool, so start it up again. You're in neutral, that's the most important thing. Cool. Start her up and crank on. No accelerator. No it's, accelerator. It's yeah, oh, okay, it's yeah. only when you start. Okay. Okay, cool, then, uh, so then go for a, a turn. No, no, you'll make that turn. I'll make that turn. Yep, okay. so clutch so in clutch. third. That's it. Cool, nice. And now you don't need much clutch. That's it. Clutch off, clutch off, clutch off, clutch off, clutch off, Ange. Clutch off. Clutch off. Good. Yeah, bloody hell. You will burn the clutch, so that's just the most important thing, okay? It doesn't matter if you stall it, it doesn't matter if you burn the clutch. Cool, nice. Okay, and accelerate. Accelerate. That's it, accelerate a bit, turning, nice. That's it, you're easily on this, done on this side. <laughs> Thank God. Yep, good. Now, rev, speed up, and then go into fourth gear. Speed up, speed up. Clutch, accelerator off. Way too fast. Do I Try go? that again, clutch in, go back into third. Okay, still too fast, yep. Still turning, nice. Good, hard turn, hard turn, hard turn. Nice. And when you're ready, Where you're going to clutch when you brake. Where do we go? Uh, that way. Accelerate a bit. Cool. Now clutch and brake. Clutch all the way in. Good. Now neutral. Um, that'll do. Yeah, that'll be fine. Okay. Awesome. Cool. So I I'm a terrible teacher, as you can see, I get really good beats. I can yeah. still brake. Uh, take your foot off the brake, I won't go oh, anywhere. Yeah, You're not on a lean, it's so heavy, you know. Okay. Now what? Cool, that was the first time driving a mod. What do you think? You look stressed out of your mind. I was stressed. The past few days have been quite stressful, so I must admit, that was probably not the best day, the best condition I've probably forgotten everything. But if I now, told her that she was going to drive, she wouldn't have done it, so I had to put her on the spot. Would have you? You wouldn't have done it. No. I don't think so. <laughs> okay. But that was good. That was the main startup sequence. You would be able to get out of somewhere now in third gear, but you'd be able to get out. Do you know what I mean? Still on the as way. long as you don't stress and um, and you know either over clutch or not the take kind your of foot out. The situation. I need aircon. <laughs> <laughs> Down. Yes. So that's handbrake on. Put this into neutral. So yes. up. There. Yeah, that's neutral. So you see the sound okay, change. Sounds, yeah. Cool. And, and now you. All you need to do is, that lever goes all the way up and it will kill the truck. Oh, okay. All the way up. Good, and now turn the key off. And out. 
cool, and then switch off. Nice. She did well. <laughs> You're a heavy trucker now. Oh my god. Obviously, I can't take her on the road because Ange doesn't have her um, heavy or her medium rigid. So we can't really do road driving right now. So maybe next time when we're off road somewhere, um, Ange can jump in. Yes. <laughs> All right, so first part of the equation is we've got this telescopic ladder, which we bought a little while ago because um, we thought that was going to be our entrance steps. This is the same one we had on our rooftop tent on the Jeep, so nice and light. So that will go up, magic ladder, like so, and that will be there. All right, so the awning is fixed to the box. So that's what we've got going on on this end. Everything's 316 stainless. Uh, D shackle and then one of these um, iron hook things. So can you grab the awning yeah. and pull it towards me? So you've got two things going on here. There's some serious wind which is lifting it and this soil is seriously sandy. So I definitely need to come up with some sort of different stake. I thought that would be harder to drive in the ground but it was actually too easy. So no point tightening these up right now because this is just cutting through the ground, this um, post. But that is a four by seven meter awning. We tested it a little bit before the door opens fine and then it actually lifts the awning up even more. So it does work. It's the posts I need to come up with a better strategy for. What do you think? Like we've got plenty of shade. Now I haven't introduced the product, so I just found this online. I don't know, I can't remember if it was eBay, it was, it was some sort of Chinese website. It's from memory 280 GSM waterproof, some sort of material. It's not canvas, but it's similar. Apparently it likes the wind. <laughs> oh my God. Mm. Now if this was tighter, it wouldn't do that. Hmm. All right, so, so far it looks like a fair weather awning. Kind of happy with it, kind of disappointed, but I think it has some alterations that need to be made and then it'll be good. But this was crazy cheap, by the way, but it's basically a shade cloth. So this is the end of this week's episode. It's a little bit different than normal, normal fancy bureau or anything. <laughs> Just didn't have the time this week and like the show obviously it took a long time during our week but hopefully next week we're back into business normal episode as normal I'm sure we will be anyway i <laughs> hope you enjoyed this video guys uh hit that subscribe button if you want to see more if you enjoy the videos and we'll see you next week cheers <laughs>